How's it going everyone and welcome to this year's Friday the 13th event. In this event we got new pets, craft, new dungeons and of course with this year's new war between pirate versus ninjas. So let's get into it. First off, Dotty has some new crafts that require old gear and nanites. I'll talk about them later on in the video. Also 5 new pets that you can buy for 450 DC each. These are mini versions of the big spooky himself shard. Quite frightful. Moving on, new to this year's Friday the 13th, if you take a look out to the lake, you will notice a crashed spaceship. And considering we are heroes, it's our job to investigate. So put on your swim shorts and cross the head deep waters to the ship. Standing on one of the broken wings, you will meet a lady camper named Laurie. Now, speaking to this NPC, she will give you a cutscene, a secret shop that requires a key, I'll make a video for that later, and of course, the new survival dungeon. Now, in this survival dungeon, you're going to be going through a maze to find 8 switches to deactivate the force field that you see at the beginning of the maze. Now, be careful because this maze is swarming with xenomorph looking creatures. Did I mention that Shard X could appear too? Well, if you see him before you made it to the engine room, run, he will annihilate you. Now, once the force field is down, you will be able to enter the engine room to take down Shard X. Killing him, he might drop nanites that is used for the crafting shop, or he might drop the pink camper set. Wow, I look pretty good. Now, wrapping this video up, let's talk about the war between pirate versus ninjas. Now at the time I'm making this video the pirates are way ahead but no matter if you want to help with the war effort you are going to need to farm a war badges which drop from pretty much every monster in this camp and spaceship. These badges will only stack to 300 and once you have a stack you can either turn into zip or ace depending on what faction you want to help. Just pick up the quest war quest and turn it in. And by the way, if you're really nice, you can actually turn into both factions. Now, once the war is over, we will have a winner, and you will be able to get that camp's flag for 500 gold. So guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and I'll see you in the next one.